okay so uh, hope i am not in webcam now but what we are going to see uh, in this short video maybe i'll take 10 minutes or uh, 12 minutes uh, to wind it up uh, the same appointment form okay so we will rename this into uh, you know appointment webcam so in this video we are going to include webcam min.js so the concept of uh, me not coming in the webcam is uh, basically two instances of uh, webcam can't be accessed that is one through browser and one through uh, 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 pc application that is stand alone application so what we'll do is we'll straight away jump into the code and uh, we'll straight away jump into the application and see how it runs that will give you an idea so it will say ask uh, camera so hello so that's it so this is how uh, you know we are going to uh, this is basically the form through which uh, everything will be accessed that is a webcam uh, is attached to the uh, appointment form and then the same approach what we have seen uh, using Uh, other things and uh, what we will do is we will submit and we will also see uh, how it is rendered i have two two videos uh, you know already in place so what we'll do is we'll add one more record so that you see uh, on live how this Uh, these are junk values uh, these have no significance 24680 okay same local storage stuff we are doing this is basically full stack okay this is not uh, okay so this is how it is coming so once you refresh it's again asking you so okay so if you press f12 or go to developer tools and uh, application you will see local storage okay so if you these are the records which are there lm mn rn okay these are the records which are there and uh, in addition to that what we are storing uh, in this is image uri if you see uh, if you see at the last uh, after appointment time if you see data uh, image uri uh, field key and the value pair this is not, nothing about data uri which is basically uh, you know uh, the format in which uh, base64 encoded uh, string uh, your image whatever you click is uh, converted into a string and then uh, base64 string and then stored okay so what happens we will go to the code we will close this and we will go to the code totally three entries are there and this day this we are storing it in local storage and then we are rendering it we are rendering here okay we are rendering uh, this one here okay so what we will do now is we will have this instance but we will go to the code okay we'll go to the code and uh, we will see everything else remains same except the fact that uh, you add webcam min asset okay uh, if you click the folder structure you see webcam min.js webcam dot min.js you include it this is the one which is used to uh, attach webcam into the appointment okay 
so same thing except the fact that you attach you give an id my camera okay this is where uh, your webcam get attached and how it get uh, how it basically get uh, attached is in the javascript code so as soon as you click uh, this button as soon as you click submit button that is submit we are not using jquery we are using javascript so take snapshot is a take underscore snapshot is the function on click okay so once you uh, do on click what happens is first you initialize some global variable for image underscore data i will tell you and you set the width and height and then you attach the camera so uh, as soon as that as soon as the camera is attached to the appointment form what happens is on click there is take snapshot on click what happens this function is called this web dot snap function which is nothing but your uh, <coughs> which is uh, this function is nothing but it takes uh, a variable data uri and uh, takes away all the string base 64 string from data here and populates it once it gets populated you store it in a variable called image data and then leave these uh, codes these are not necessary this i did for some flask application so i wanted to download so i wanted to ra randomly name and test so i did this from here on it is the same procedure all other form data gets populated along with that you store uh, image data also into app info array and you what you do is you convert this array into a json string uh, there is you stringify and convert it into a json so that we will be able to uh, add uh, entire data packet into local storage and we give the key number which is same as in the previous form okay so this is the function for download okay if you want you can add uh, download which is not necessary then you traverse and get everything and uh, one more thing is in the section we are adding value dot image underscore uri okay this is the value in which we are getting image underscore uri why image underscore uri because we are storing it as image underscore uri so value dot image underscore uri same for loop is getting run and then you store it and in the section <coughs> and in the section you add a little bit of in the section in the card before card uh, top of the card you add this image okay so what happens is this is the section this is the section which gets appended for all the data in the local storage for which we are traversing the for which we are traversing the local storage to get the key value back for each item and then appending it <coughs> and appending it in the section along with the image that is how you uh, see uh, the image okay this button click remove we have already seen this uh, you know functionality so what happens is basically this you get an appointment form center it around for centering you can use bootstrap uh, classes for centering the webcam my camera dim, dim okay and then you get this okay <coughs> that's exactly how you uh, do webcam attachment and what are all the extensions what can be done is you can even attach an iris iot along with capturing the form that is you capture the entry and then uh, along with the iris if they show uh, the eye it captures the detail and uh, you can make the you can capture that go to the database take it and populate these fields or you can voice enable uh, you can add ml also to this that is artificial intelligence say for example uh, uh, for that you cannot use local storage this is a simple application which can be 
used uh, in web forms and one more quality of this is uh, i failed to show you the mobile view okay. mobile view is also working see mobile view it is perfectly rendering in the mobile view this is exactly how you want it to be okay So these are some of the earlier pictures and why I am using JavaScript instead of uh, you know using uh, sophisticated uh, uh, frameworks like MERN uh, or uh, you know Flask or anything is uh, this is easy to test you know if you are somebody who is into uh, proof of concept you want uh, straight away some functionality test this is e easy to test. Uh, and then afterwards you can choose the frameworks based on your uh, you know, team's capability or something. So many uses can be done. This can be used, uh, you know, you can, fix a, you can fix a robo here and capture all the, you know, sideways. It can come and uh, show, uh, you know, the image of uh, e-commerce. For e-commerce uploading, uh, there is, for example, you want to... Uh, uh, capture the image of so many things okay say 100 things and put it in mongodb uh, this i have shown in local storage which can be done in mongodb also okay so uh, so many applications can be done and basically this is very very uh, sleek application for uh, small businesses you know small businesses in the sense uh, if you are a lawyer or if you are association secretary or somebody who wants to uh, you know capture in and out uh, forms or in school if you want to capture in and out forms this is easiest way to do it and you can do it using local storage because once in and out is captured uh, using after afterwards the dump from the local storage can be put in mongodb and can be accessed by some other application so this can be a standalone application also and this is a full stack application, full stack approach to the local storage through which you get all the data as in full stack. And you will also check whether the delete functionality is working. We have to refresh the page. Refresh. Upon each instance created, yeah, it's getting deleted also. So it's a full, full-fledged application which can be used for any kind of uh, starter package. This you can sell for uh, you know 20k, 30k per uh, application. Yeah. This can be used. Uh, this can be for a blog. Say some blog is there and they want to uh, have an appointment form with particular. Uh, for a store, they want an appointment form for a particular or a MD or somebody who wants uh, their own appointment forms with ID and everything uh, captured. <coughs> this is a beautiful application. And that's it for this video. Hope uh, this is really helpful for you. And hope you can implement it in your uh, respective uh, what applications. And there is, uh, I searched YouTube and there is uh, no code which is available, uh, especially like this. Okay. So thank you for watching and uh, do subscribe and uh, you know, if it is useful, uh, personally email me, I'll get you, the, I'll give you the entire code. If possible, I might charge a little bit of uh, 1000 or 1200 for this, that's it. Or if you can share your bank statements or... Uh, you are a open source guy, you can share your bank statement and say, hey guy, hey dude, uh, I'm not having, uh, you know, that much money or something. So I can give you the code. Email me, email you the code. Okay, email me, I'll email you.